There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would. I Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chanel and welcome to Classroom Setup Day 5. I'm here only for like an hour today, like I really have to go home and get stuff done. So I'm really going to try to speed through this video as much as I can because I have one goal today and we'll see if I have time to get anything else done. And that one goal is to put up these flags that I have because I have been waiting to put up these flags for so long. If you've watched any of my last Classroom Setup videos, if you haven't, you definitely should. But I have not figured out where I wanted to put these flags and I finally think that I found a solution. I'm going to put them up right there over my classroom right next to those conversation bubbles and I think that they're gonna look nice. I really hope they do. I already cut it out a whole bunch and I think I'll need to cut out more and that's okay. Um, I'm hoping that I can get this whole wall of flags done today and maybe do a little bit more but that's like the main thing I want to do so let's go ahead put that up and hopefully it looks nice, hopefully it looks cute, and hopefully I don't run into any craziness like I had in my last video. <laughs> So I started hanging them up and like doing like a crisscross type thing, but it really doesn't look good. So I'm actually going to take them down and I think I'm just going to do it normally straight and maybe that'll look a little bit better. So I just got done putting up all of the flags, not all of them, just for that one little space. And as you can see, like, I'm not really sure if I like it. Like, I definitely have to put the flags on the other side as well. But I, I don't know if I really like it. Maybe it'll look good when it's a bit more symmetrical and I have flags on each side. It's just like, I feel like I'm just putting them there to put them there because I definitely want them hung up. I just don't know exactly where I would want them. And I feel like that's the best space right now. And... I don't know, <laughs> but I really am rushing today, so this vlog is probably going to be very sloppily put together. I really like to take my time and try to like edit this really, really nice and get different types of footage for you guys, but this is really going to be sloppily put together probably, and I'm sorry for that, but 
I got things to do today and I definitely do not want to spend all day working on my classroom setup. If you have been working on your classroom setup, I'm really, really curious how it is going. Leave a comment down below because this is my fifth day in a row here and it's so weird like working on your classroom when no one else is here because it's like, why am I here? <laughs> um, but five days in a row I have been here and it is Friday and I definitely just want to take off and just start my weekend. Um, so let's get this done really, really quickly and hopefully it turns out good so that way I don't have to redo it completely like I did to this thing right over there. Ryan Little. <laughs> is definitely a little bit crooked but when I compare it to the flags that are all the way over there I think it's starting to look a little bit more nice but maybe it's not as bad as I think it is <laughs> okay so I just hung the other flags up as you just saw and I don't think it looks bad but the thing is I definitely need to hang up more so I have a whole bunch of these printed copies but I I kind of wish I brought Michael or someone here to help me out with this because he could have like been cutting while I was putting up stuff and this could have went by like two times as quickly as it is going right now. But it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these out. I have like 30 pages. I don't know if I'll need all 30 pages, but if I do, at least I have them. <laughs> I really don't know if I like it. I may completely take it down when I come back to my classroom next week because it just seems a little bit too linear. Like it's just a line of flags and that's normally like how flags go up in your room. I think from all the teachers I've seen, like they just kind of put them up in a line and it's not terrible. I like it more than the zigzag that I was trying to do earlier, but it's not, it's not screaming my name, you know what I mean? Like it's not like calling me, but I'm just gonna leave it as is. There is a small part I have to do right next to the clock, but I can get to that another day. What I'm going to do right now is try to finish up this grammar wall that I was making, and I'm just going to put the rest of the circles 
that I have from here. And I'm just going to put them on my wall and hopefully that'll just kind of clear up the space a little bit. I still have those artworks that I don't have tags for yet. I just forgot to bring them today. So I will hang those up eventually once I get the tags. But as of right now, I'm just going to take those little circles, the extras that I do have, kind of plop them up randomly right around those grammar posters. And I think that that will fill in the space quite nicely. It won't be too much, but it also won't be too much white either. So, so that's what I'm thinking. really really happy with how the space turned out i think the little circles really do fit in quite nicely and they fill up that blank space because i really wasn't liking the blank space but i didn't quite know what to put in it so those little circles aren't too much i don't think they're too distracting and they really do look nice so i really can't complain that is really it today i really told myself that i was only going to be here for an hour so i think this video will be a little bit short but that's not bad we got those flags up we finished my grammar wall and i'm really really happy there is a giant mess in my classroom and after every single video and every single day that I've been here I've actually taken the time to clean it up but I'm not cleaning up today I will do that tomorrow or Monday but I'm not cleaning up today I'll do that Monday when I come back just because I really do have to leave when I come back next time for my next classroom setup vlog I have like these notable women in stem and these were free offline somewhere. I can share that down below if anyone is interested, but I don't know where I want to put these up. I was thinking maybe on those counters right there, but I'm not sure. Those are whiteboards, so I'm definitely not going to put anything on there. Although I didn't use these like at all last year, I think this space is quite nice to leave it like blank because I have that at the top. I have these posters right here, so have a little bit white here and there. I think that's fine. But for these posters, the notable women in STEM, I'm not sure where I want to put them. So you've seen my classroom. You've been around with me. If you have ideas, let me know. Or if you have any inspiration for other classrooms who've done bulletin boards or things like that for women in STEM, let me know down below. I really do hope that you enjoyed this vlog uh i really had a fun time doing it i really like putting a timer on myself when i come here this was like the first time all of my other vlogs i've been here for no joke like two or three hours each time and to take that time out of your day when you don't have to be at the school it's a lot so to be here for only an hour get stuff done and then leave it's like really refreshing and i don't feel mentally drained and i kind of have like a fresh peace of mind so that way when i come back i know what i gotta do i know what i want to do and It'll be fun to start. So if you enjoy these types of videos, the classroom setup vlogs, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way you don't miss out any of my future content. This is classroom setup day five. I think I may have a few more coming. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. And if you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up.